Hello and welcome back to another episode of H Plays FTL and I'm back again playing this game because I enjoyed it last time. Uh, so I'm going to go for, again, for it again. I think I'm going to go in the engine ship type B this time though. Ah, oh, I can't rename it. So what was the last one? That was H HMS Fail was it? This can be the... Uh... Oh, what shall I call it? What's a dr drone reactor boost? Hmm, wonder what that is. Uh, HMS fail mark two. Yeah, because <laughs> that's a thing. So what's this drone react thing? Your shipboard, your shipboard drones have their movement speed increased by fifty percent. Cool. I don't think I've actually ever played as this before. I'm going to do that just so we have a bit of light in here. Now, as you can see, this ship doesn't come equipped equipped with any type of... I don't know what it's called. So, like, surveillance? Monitor, monitoring station? Anything like that. So, you can't even see inside your own ship. Uh, Anti-personal? I don't see the point in having that on. But we can have the system repairs. Uh, we have a heavy, heavier... Ion, which disables an enemy systems for two points of damage, and the heavy laser, which fires one shot, causes two damage with low chance of firing breaching. Uh, I do think we're going to have difficulty actually hurting anything right at the beginning, uh, which is not good. But let's see what happens, eh? Let's see what happens. So what have we got? Sending away party. If one of my guys die, this is instant death. Oh. As you approach the signal, you receive a message on a rebel on a rebel channel. I knew we'd catch some Federation fish with this signal. Prepare to be boarded, scum. Damn! So we're gonna be boarded, so let's get rid of one of them and put our answer. Uh, and let's do that. Go fight the dudes! Yay! Anti-personal things! Fight things! Do stuff! Yes! Right, okay, I should be concentrating here. Right, so he's just sent a heavy laser and he has a glaive beam! Shit! He took out our... Go on, little dude. You go and fix that up, because I need it. I need you to do things, please. Oh, good. I charged back up just in time, then. Uh. Have we killed anything? We need another anti-personal... Ah, oh, this is going bad at the beginning. There we go. There, there. One guy's nearly dead. There we go. I should be able to kill the second guy. And... Okay, that's good. Let's fire the heavy ion on the shields. And a miss. Of course a miss. Of course. Bleeding the heavy laser's gone down again. Golly gosh. Okay, at least we have haven't got to deal with the guys anymore doing that. So let's turn off that and turn on second re uh, system repair just in case just in case we take another hit with our glaive. Uh, come on, heavy laser. Let's hit them for the ion. Yeah, and then hit the shields. Excellent. Things are coming together. So now we can hit the shields again, so to keep the shields down. Our engines are down. That's not a problem, because they can't defend themselves anymore. Wow, this is a tricky first battle. A tricky first battle indeed. Those uh, system repair things are good. No, you don't. I will not have you disappearing on me, Mistor. In fact, let's hit you with an ion on your piloting station so you can't go anywhere. <laughs> and now you really can't go anywhere. No, fuck you. You've caused me so much damage. You are going to perish and die in horrible, horrible ways. Such as ex in explosions and the void of space, suffocation, freezing cold, and... Oh, they have their uh, shields back. That's not brilliant, but nothing we can't handle. Such as that. And you're dead. Sweet! Now you need to give me lots of lovely scrap, please. Thirteen scrap, is that all? You cheeky bastards. 
And my guy is still... My anti-personal dude is gaining health. I think we'll leave this to regain some health. I actually need to turn off one of you to do that. So I can actually go places. So let's jump down here and do these little three sectors. And what have we got here? We have a Mantis ship. They have a teleportation place. Are they actually going to send anyone? Yes, they are. So, again, I'm immobile. Brilliant. And they have a glaive shield, a, 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 some type of beam weapon, and another heavier weapon. Brilliant. Oh, this shouldn't be too much of an issue, I don't think. Okay. Don't fire the beam. Don't fire the beam. Don't fire the... Oh, I only just got up in time. Okay, Ion. Let's take down the weapons this time, because I do not want them to get a lucky hit in. Oh, God. Uh, if I send that guy over there, will that start targeting that? Um, all right. Again, I'm going to hit you on your sh shield, I think. Uh, weapons, even, just to stop that from happening. And he disappeared. You can go back over yonder. I'm not going to make an anti personal just yet, because I'm running out of drone parts already. Uh, he's no longer having shields, so... Oh no, his shields are still iron. Sweet. Ha! You have a breach. Sunny Jim, you have a breach. You're dead. Oh, I keep on using all my drone parts up with having to have my anti-personal person on. The, the ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap materials. Now we need to put a point back into our engines. Distress. Oh, we all know what that's going to be. But let's go down the yard here. And we can go to the distress in a second. Your jump leads to a completely unremarkable binary star system. There is nothing else around. Well, shit. That was a waste of a jump. Repair drone. Send a repair drone to assist in fixing their ship's sh shields. Sure. Your drone succeeds in keeping their ship from breaking apart while they fix it. However, you take some damage whilst attempting to leave the asteroid field. They offer you some military supplies as thanks for saving them. Iron Mark Blast 2. Huh. Fires a single blast that does one iron damage and recharges very quickly. Can hit and disable shields as well as systems. So how quickly does it power up and would it be better than having my ion shield? So my ion shield takes 13 seconds and that takes 9 seconds. No, wait, 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 wait. That takes 4 seconds, that takes 13 seconds. That is... As far as doing, keeping them disabled, that's actually really good. I might, in fact, think about doing that. And actually having that instead of that. Because that's pretty good. That, I mean, that charges up so quickly, it's unbelievable. How can you not say no? Store. Brilliant time to have a store just after I spend some scrap. You silly, silly boy! Attack the automated ship. Sure. He has an ion, and so do I. Right, so actually, I'm gonna. Iron. his weapons and see how quickly we can actually iron his weapons. Uh, disable his weapons by doing this. Ooh. Can I hit him twice? Oh! I can actually hit everything before he can pile them back up. Excellent. So I can keep his shields down permanently. That is interesting. That is interesting. Very nice. So can I auto-fire that and then just that? Because he can't put his shields, he can't ha get his shields up. My iron fires too quickly. This is superb. That's an excellent weapon. Really nice. I like it a lot. Now, even though I failed in my first attempt at FTL, or at least my first uh, recording attempt, I figured I won't do another one on the standard ship, because you people who have seen that a hundred bazillion times. The station was either abandoned or stripped clean. Bollocks. Uh, so I thought I'd just try again with a different ship. I've never used this, so it should be interesting. Uh, but I thought it would be better than me just trying to win with a standard ship. Uh, okay, so... Iron Blast, Auto Fire, 
And once you get their shields down, go for the weapons. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Okay, we're going to have to have... Is that a beam? Or is that... Oh god, oh god this is going to go horrible. You need to fire on that now. I need to take down my shields so when that hits... Oh, it hits the shields anyway. Brilliant. Oh, this is going to go horribly. Horribly, horribly, horribly. It really helps with my iron hits as well. Well, luckily my shields aren't getting hit at the moment, which is nice. Okay, at least... I need to eye on their drone place. There we go. Things are looking better now. And keep their shields iron for the second and we'll do a proper hit of... There we go. Things should be good now. Christ, I took so much uh, damage there now. It was unbelievable. If I'd had an extra shield, that wouldn't have been so, uh, much of an issue, but because they could just disable my shields and then hit me with both their burst laser and their attack drone, that was horrible. Uh, I didn't realise my heavy laser wasn't firing, which is not good. And I haven't got enough power to power my shields. Brilliant, I am not paying attention even remotely. There we go, that doesn't matter. Ugh! 21 scrap, that was not worth it. That was really not worth it. Let's just have my guy go to the health, uh, to the med station, because I know he took some damage and I never repaired him. Made him better and happy again. So let's put the shields back up and jump out of here. I suppose we'll have to go down to the store and fix some of our shit. Hello. Weapon pre-igniter. Fuck you, game. Right at the beginning, I hate you with a passion. I hate you with a passion. Drone recovery arm could be nice. Hmm, interesting. Do I take? Do I sell one of my system repairs and get an anti-ship? That takes powers too, though. Hmm, interesting. What to do? Either way, I think I'm going to delete my ion. Uh, delete. Sell my ion. And see what else we can do. Hmm. I'm going to sell one of my system repairs. That gives me a bit more money. And I think... I'm going to buy an anti-ship. Maybe. Or I could just repair myself. No, I think I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to... I can fix everything for... I'm going to wait until I'm in the green. There we go. And now can I buy an extra power? Yes, I can. So I can... Uh, I can power... I can power my anti-ship. And have an eye on... This, this should go well. This should... In quotation marks, go well. <laughs> Alright then, let's see what happens, eh? By the time you notice the rebel ship behind the beacon, it's too late to avoid a fight. Okay, they also have a attack drone. So I could do with... Uh, what weapons have they got? They've only got a heavy laser. So if I can disable... Their weapons fairly quick. They shouldn't be able to get through my shields. And of course it misses. Everything misses. Of course. Of course. There we go. Things are hitting now. Very good. There we go. Everything groovy. Ah, this is going to be an easy battle with this going on. <laughs> Die. Oh, they hit me. Damn. Uh, system repair. You go and do your thing. 
The enemy ships appear to be powering up the FDL drive. I think not. I think not indeed. Wahaha. I do need to get... The what? Are you serious as I am? I got like 10 scrap for that? Oh. Oh. God, that sucks. Oh. Seems to be a lack of scrap in this playthrough. In this uh, sector. Fuel. I don't want fuel. I need all the money I can get this year. Okay. Over there. Down there, even. Down there. That's what I meant to say. Down there. You stumble across the photo scout. You better give me more scrap than the last dude. They are powering up the FDL drive. Oh, uh, they've got... A beam. Oh, God. And two level one bursts. Brilliant. I'm going to need... Okay, so, eye on their, sh their weapons. Okay, so, did they take down their shields because of that? Ooh. Ooh, you sneaky bastard. Okay, so, their shield is down. So, let's take out their beam weapon, because that is dangerous if that powers up. No, there we go. To take down the beam, take down the beam, sweet. And hit powerful, cool. Okay, now take down their ion. Uh, take down their weapons, even. No, oh, that was a lot easier than the last one. Give me more scrap. 14 scrap. Okay, I'm not sure that's any better or not, but I shall take what I can get. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, you're gonna. No. Okay, okay, so. The only advantage to this ship is that we can do this and keep our little pilot safe. So we shouldn't take too much damage from the fire. Warning us from low, I know. Let's put on the anti-ship because they're going to just take a constant amount of damage from that. Uh, and damage our shields. We definitely don't... Did they hit us for damage? Oh my god, that was the quickest fight in the world. So now we just need to wait until our... Uh, Okay, okay. You need to go and fix that or my guy's gonna... No! Yes, go in there! There we go. Let's jump. Jump to the uh, exit beacon. That sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a good idea. You arrived at the long range beacon. When the FDL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. You recognize the ship as a well known slave trader. He yells you and offers you labors for cheap. Attack the slave is gone. I think so. Actually, if this is a well known slave trader, this could be one of the uh, missions where what, that you can use to get an extra ship. I think I may already have the pirate ship, though. Attack the slave is gone. Oh, there we go. Right, okay. Um, all I can do is iron him. And I'll iron his... No, I will iron Huh? Oh, yeah, iron his weapons. That's good, because now we can't get through my shields. Awesome. Let's just hit his shields for everything that we've got. I really need to get actually some people on my ship. I've only just realised. You, we surrender. Take one of our slaves as a tribute. Yes, I will, because I have no people. Okay, let's put you on the on the weapons. In fact, I think because if you can make them charge even slightly quicker, this iron beam is going to be firing like every three seconds. Okay, jump to the next sector. Uh, we'll go to the Zoltan controlled. See whether we can find some Zoltans. Zoltans are always nice to have. A bit weak, but nice to have nonetheless. So, distress. What can we do? Do we need to wait for anything to happen? I don't think we do. Let's just jump. What I do need is some more drone parts. 
the distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire and their repair crew can't approach without being fired on. They are looking for help to fix or disable it. Remotely repair it, its targeting system. Your crew... Uh, oh my god, they're giving me a firebomb. I love firebombs. Your crew member is able to remotely fix a glitch in the defense AI, allowing the repair crew to close in and finish the job. The station gives you thanks along with a reward. So we've got a drone part and a firebomb. Oh, people, how you know I love firebombs. Uh, I'm not sure. Firebombs could be useful, in fact. Hmm. Well, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We need to find a store more than anything. I don't want to go into the into the nebulas here. Just because I really can't afford to be losing any power. Firebomb offered to burn the crowd. You arrive to find another ship convening around a station. You tune into the unencrypted communication channel and overhear half of their conversation. It seems like they need to take possession of an enemy ship intact. Sure! They quickly scan your ship as it appears you could help. A bandit has made off with some very important cargo, though I doubt they have any understanding what it is they stole. We need you to capture the ship. Agree to capture the ship. So where is he? He's right there. Sweet. I'm going to see whether we can go down then up rather than going through the nebula. Zoltan, what have you got, Zoltan? Intrusion. In, uh, intruders, even. So let's pop on the anti personal person to go and kill. Oh, he's descent over the Zoltan. Really? That seems a bit redundant. So, will you kill the Zoltan? Yeah, very good. Quick. Huh? Did I, just, did I just take damage? Whoa! Lots of Zoltans! Holy shit! I did not notice this. Ooh. Okay. Okay, you repair things, dude. This is not good. Oh, crap. Okay. No! Okay. You need to kill all the Zoltans! Kill all the Zoltans! Kill all the Zoltans, and y your ship's about to die, dude. You need to, like, jump back so I don't have to take care of you. How the Zoltans managed to kill my drones? God, godness me. Yeah, you die. Excellent. Okay, mission. You go over there. Oh, I've not got anything on my oxygen, so everyone's suffocating ever so slightly. Can't believe that! Golly gosh, that was more painful than I thought it was going to be. I keep on taking so much damage. Right then, so we'll just wait until things are repaired. I really can't afford to have the system repair now because I really need to save for an anti ship. Is that good? You go over there then. Um, is there anything I need? Anything that I could do with having? Well,. Hmm, I could have gone with going down there. I wonder if I can do that, sort of. Let's go to the quest and see what we can do with the quest. Uh, you find the ship that you are asked to capture intact. You're not sure why, but they, they stressed that it's of great importance that you kill the crew without destroying the ship. Ah. Oh, so I have to power up my... Okay, well... In that case... Crap. I need to, I should have uh, put an extra. I wonder whether it's going to be possible to keep their oxygen supply off. Uh, Depowered and take out their, sh out their weapons so they can't do anything to me. Let's see whether we can do that. So. Take out our shields and just fire again. Take out that oxygen. You take out their weapons. Oops. Oh, that miss. Nice. There we go. So now, 
Turn off the auto fire, at least for that. And just continually hit there. Whoa! Let's take you down. No, let's uh, bring you over. No, you need to stick back on there, dude. Just keep on hitting their oxygen until they suffocate. Is that not, that's not going to work, is it? Uh, how to do this? Could do with a firebomb to kill people, but... Okay, let's hit their shields with one laser to destroy that. And then just keep on hitting their oxygen with that. Oh no! Oopsie. I had a lot of fire on, didn't I? Whoopsie doodle. Oh no, I'm dead. Did that kill me? The explosion killed me? Holy crap. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? Shit. I'm going to try again with that. <laughs> I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Bye-bye.